Hey guys, it's going welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald Wedlock. In the last episode, we stopped Team Aqua here at the Weather Institute. And in this episode, we are going to make our way to the next city. Because if you check on the Pokedab, we are pretty much just right around the corner from the next town. So, as you can see, there's like a little flashing button on the uh, Pokedab design. And if you check the match call, or when you see that flashing, that generally means that there's people available to battle you on the match call. Pretty much like the Versus Seeker. But it doesn't work the same way as the Versus Seeker. It's pretty much more like the uh, the way the Poke Gear worked in Pokemon uh, by Gold, Silver, and Crystal with the uh, guys phoning you and stuff. Basically, there's a lot of people who want to battle me, so that could be good for some training. But we're actually going to make it to the new city first, and I may battle those guys off screen if I do some training up. Because I do, we do, a, we, bleh, bleh. <laughs> we do have a gym coming up, and I would like to be trained up for that. Anyway, I'm going to teach Ice Beam to my Maryland. Because it could definitely benefit with an ice type move. And yeah, that will uh, help us out, I guess. So I'll get rid of Bubble Beam. I have Surf. Surf is already a stronger move. So there's no point in having two water type moves, I think, when one is stronger than the other. And uh, my Ziggly Puff. Uh, I was about to say Ziggly Puff. Ziggly Puff has an item too. So let's take that away. Get an escape rope, which is nice. And I'm also going to throw the experience share on S Cargo just to level up this, uh, this little Slugma a little bit more because I would like to level it up a bit. I uh, learned Flamethrower pretty soon, which is a very good fire type move, so that will be pretty helpful. But I think I'll keep the experience share on it for a while, because I do want to level it up, as I said. Anyway, yeah, after a lot of uh, talking, like a minute and 37 seconds of talking, we're finally going to move on, and I can actually catch a Pokemon here on this route. So, yeah, that's awesome. And what we will do is just head up this way and get stopped by our rival. So, let's see what May has to say. Stu, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready your Pokemon? Ready with your Pokemon? Oh, of course you are. Look oh. Yeah, I screwed up that reading and my nose is a little bit runny, so... That's fantastic. Anyway, here you have a Pokemon Trainer May, who leads off the Pelipper on level 29. If you have an electric type, this thing is... Nothing. It's honestly nothing. It will use Protect, but... Just kill it on the next turn, I guess. It's... It is really nothing. It is quad weak to electric type moves. So yeah, you'll pretty much just destroy it with a Spark or a Thunderbolt. And there we go. Critical hit, not even necessary. But whatever, it's fine. So there we go. First Pokemon of Maze down. Next up, she is going to be sending in her Combuskin, which is a Fire-type and a Fighting-type Pokemon. We're going to go to Maryland, and yeah, Barney and Maryland have been seeing a lot of action recently. They've become like, well, Maryland was always part of the sort of key combo, because uh, whenever I had Swellow, that thing got a lot of action as well and battle a lot of Pokemon, so, yeah, Maryland just proven to be sort of like the cornerstone of the team, the powerhouse, if you will, and it just, uh, gets a really nice partner. I probably should have teamed it up with Slugma when I think about it, just so I could cover, um, well, not actually with Slugma, I think it's good that I covered it with Swellow, or not Swellow, with, uh, with Manectric. I'm not really sure. I was, I was looking back at the pairs I made, and I was like, well, um, when you look at the thing in Escargo, they're both weak to water so I can't even switch them in and there's a lot of water roots in Hoenn so looking back on that that was maybe not the best partnership I could have had but they've been working pretty well even though we haven't actually seen them battle much because I have trained them up the most with the experience share mainly because we we did water roots a lot so yeah I definitely couldn't really use my uh, Pokemon or those two Pokemon there anyway Thunderbolt doesn't kill I thought it would but just a little bit off and she probably heal up so I'm just gonna go for a uh Alright, she didn't heal up. I could have just finished it with Quick Attack. I was actually expecting her to heal up her Pokemon, so... That sucked. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So... Defeated all those, uh, Pokemon and defeated Mei. I was about to say defeated all those trainers. We only defeated one. But, our reward for defeating Mei is... HMO2, which contains Fly. Unfortunately, I don't have a Pokemon that can learn Fly. Or at least not in my party. But that's fine. I don't think I'll be using it. Actually, I could use it quite a bit, but... I don't think I will be now, because I don't have anything for it. So, off rides May, and I believe if we come down here, alright, there's Scott, I, <sighs> this guy, I just forgot all about him, he doesn't really do anything, but, uh, yeah, he's, he's just Scott, and down here we have ourselves a elixir, or an elixir, uh, one elixir, and, uh, that's pretty cool, so, restores PP, not a bad item, and, uh, let's just keep heading up here, and we can find a Pokemon here, so let's see what Pokemon we've got, and it's an Oddish, which I already have. So great, Dupes Claws in effect. Forgot that I even had one of these things, but whatever. So let's uh, switch Pokemon and, or not switch, we'll run away. 
And I think I will switch Pokemon. I will switch to Zigglypuff and to uh, Teal to weaken down whatever because Barney and Maryland are a little bit too strong. Not insanely strong, but still strong nonetheless. And yeah, let's just hope that we get a cool Pokemon. This time we get another Oddish. Fantastic. Alright, I really want to catch a Pokemon here because I'll forget otherwise. So, if I remember correctly, I can still catch something on the Jagged Pass too. So I may go back there and get something, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, please just give me a wild Pokemon. Really, come on. No wild Pokemon appearing in the grass. Uh, what if I go all the way up here? There we go. Finally, something, something's come out of this. And it's a Linoon, which I have. Great. All these dupes slots. There's only, like, one Pokemon I think I can get here. And, uh, or two Pokemon, like a Tropius or a Kecleon. So, yeah, if I could get either one of those, that would be nice. And it started to rain again. Uh... Come on, why is it taking so long to find a wild Pokemon? There we go. This time we got ourselves a six. Oh, man, this is so annoying. Why won't different Pokemon come out? It's dumb. It's so stupid. All right, so I'm gonna look for. I'm gonna look one more time, and if I don't find anything, I'm just gonna move on. I'll come back eventually and get something. Just because, yeah. All right, so do we finally get something different? Nope. Nope, of course not. Of course we don't get something different. We get Oddish again, which is not what we're looking for. We're not really looking for anything, but we're looking for anything but Oddish, Linoon, and Zigzagoon. Which means that we can now move on, or we will move on. I'll come back eventually, I guess. But yeah, wow, nothing was really coming up there at all, was it? Anyway, let's take on this guy here. Uh, I think he uses Electric-type Pokemon, just because of the way he said that. And uh, he is a rocker, and they usually have Electric-type or Guitarist. He does have an Electric. A level 26. So what we'll do is uh, just headbutt that thing, I think, and it should do a lot of damage. So let's just see. And headbutt is not going to kill, but we get the flinch hacks. Always nice. Oh yeah, we'll finish off with another headbutt. So not too bad, Zigglypuff. Well played. Getting the nice flinch and stuff. And there we go. So defeated that. And a uh, decent amount of experience for it. Get level 32 for Escar Go. And Guitarist Fabian has been... Demolished. I wouldn't really say demolished, but he's been defeated at least. Alright, next up is you, not very discreetly hidden ninja boy. Very uh, obviously hidden ninja boy, just by the complete different color to the uh, trees, I guess. Yasu here has a ninjask, level 26. And we've seen ninjask a couple of times already. It's fast, it's uh, not very strong though, it's kind of fragile. And it's using sword stance, so maybe it's a well, actually, now it is a little bit stronger because it sword stance is obviously an awesome move boost your attack stat by two stages but very fragile defensively so pretty much like any move you go for may kill it unless it's like not very effective of course in which case then you may not do that much damage anyway as you can see something unseeable is in the way well <laughs> as you can see something unseeable is in the way now but we're blocked off can't go much further and we have another ninja boy here uh again not so discreetly hidden and yeah so not very well hidden at all. He has a coughing though, a level 25. I am afraid this thing is going to uh, self-destruct on me because that would be horrible and that is what coughings like to do. So let's just hope that Zigglypuff uh, doesn't get self-destructed on and get the flinch hacks. That's that's very good. That's a good start. That is a very good way to stop uh, coughing using self-destruct. And there we go. So we take out one coughing. I think he may have another. I'm trying to think. Does he have two coughings? He does have two coughings. All right. So yeah, self-destruct, Nuzlocke killer basically, or Nuzlocke's worst enemy, because they just uh, pretty much nearly kill most of your Pokemon with how powerful it is, and the double flinch, that is what I like, that is Zigglypuff in a nutshell, just when the chips are down, well the chips aren't even down, but when it's time to step up, Zigglypuff steps up, gets the job done, and there we go, level 33, awesome stuff, and uh, we defeated Hydeo. Idea. What was that last guy? Yasu. That's strange names, at least. Or not at least, but they are strange names. Anyway, grab ourselves two Pumbag Berries. There is some items over there. I will. Actually, I'm not going to get these Pumbag Berries. They're not really important. I'll head over there in a while. I'll show you guys what you can do and stuff. But for now, we're just going to make our way into Fortree City, which is the new city, and it's got really cool music. It's actually the uh, secret base music, I believe. So that's nice. And yeah, we'll just heal ourselves up and uh, do some stuff. So. All healed up and ready to go. 
And, uh, what will I do? I think I'll just head over to the next route, because there's not much we can do in Fortree just yet. Even though there is a gym here, we can't take it on. So, I'll just show you guys anyway. If you come all the way towards the gym and you try to walk down here, you won't be able to go. There is something unseeable in your way, much like there was back uh, earlier. So, let's just keep going on over here to Route 120, another new route where I can catch new Pokemon. But, of course, I bet I won't find the new Pokemon right away. So, yeah, I, won't, I probably won't be able to get it, like, right off the bat. And now uh, we have uh, Chris, uh, Cl Clarissa. She's going to explain it all. She has a uh, Roselia on level 28. We'll just stay in and we'll headbutt. So, let's take it out. And uh, there we go. So, Roselia, I like Roselia a lot. It's a very good special attacker, but it's kind of fragile. She has a Whalemur coming in next. So, we'll go out to uh, Teal and try and uh, just one-shot this thing with a Leaf Blade. But yeah, everything's going pretty well in this episode. Not not anything bad has happened, which has actually made me very happy because bad stuff is obviously bad, and we don't want bad stuff happening because yeah, even though I know it may not be as enjoyable, I I wouldn't say I'm over leveled. I'm like decently leveled for like the gym badges or the gym battles and stuff. But I yeah, it's being over leveled can be kind of annoying with the Nuzlocke. As I said before, it's not really a challenge. It's just playing the game with extremely high level Pokemon. I know that like. Not anything interesting has happened, but I don't know if that shows how skilled I am, I want to say, but it could be just down to sheer luck that nothing bad has happened to me yet, or nothing insanely bad has happened since Norman's Gym, which was a massacre. But since then, uh, how many episodes has it been since then? Quite a few, it's been like seven episodes, I think. So, yeah, not too much bad stuff has happened, or anything bad has happened, I haven't lost any Pokemon or whatever. And anyway, here we have Gabby and Ty, so we'll take them on again. And I believe they have Magneton and a uh, Loud Red this time. So, evolved their Magnemite at least. And yeah, Magneton can actually be really annoying because I don't have anything for it. Actually, I have Slugma, but Slugma is Slugma. And um, yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do is just go for a Headbutt on you. And we'll uh, Leaf Blade the Loud Red as well. We'll just take care of the Loud Red as quick as we possibly can so we can focus our attention on the Magneton. Magneton is obviously the bigger threat. So we may as well take care of the bigger threat uh, before, well, actually, maybe, yeah, I think it's better if I got rid of Loud Red first, because Loud Red uh, can continuously attack me, or continuously attack me while it takes me a long time to take out Magneton, but Magneton can only attack me if I try to take out Magneton once I take out Loud Red, if you get what, if you get what I mean, of course, but, oh yeah, hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from with what I'm saying, because I sure as hell don't. <laughs> Alright, so we should be able to take it out with, uh, one more Leaf Blade and Headbutt combo. That did a lot of damage, though. That Spark was a little bit too much. It did a lot to Teal as well, to my surprise, so that's not very good. Uh, actually, no, I'll take one more Leaf Blade after this, I think. Yeah, just like one HP survival. Fantastic. And while it's continuously using Spark, that's not very good. That's doing a lot. That is a sickening amount of damage. Uh, let's just go for Cut and Quick Attack. And we're fully paralyzed. I kind of I almost expected that to happen, just because of the fact that we got paralyzed. Well, there we go. Gabby and Ty defeated yet again. They've been vanquished very easily, I might add. And it was a decently intense battle. Not really, though. But it was alright. So, uh, no, we're not going to give her or give them an interview again. I'm sick of giving these guys asking for interviews. Not a big interview guy. And now we have this bird keeper, Robert, I think it is. So, let's switch... Barney and Maryland around. Again, we'll just use our type advantages. Let's take the uh, Hyper Potion we got from T or Zigglypuff and we'll heal up Teal because I don't like my Pokemon being weak. Just in case they should randomly get switched in with Whirlwind or something of the sort. So get ourselves up to full HP. I'll use a Super Potion on Zigglypuff while I'm at it. Just in case Zigglypuff somehow manages to get switched in. Again, with uh, the likes of Whirlwind and Roar around, you can never be too cautious. And yeah, let's just take on this guy here. So, my Pokemon is strong. How about yours? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to one-shot you with, like, Thunderbolt or something, so don't get too uh, happy there, Bird Keeper Robert. I always remember this guy because my cousin's name is Robert, but I don't know why that helps me remember it. He doesn't, I don't think my cousin Robert likes birds. I've never really asked him. He, yeah. There we go. Spark takes it out. <laughs> That's it. Alright. So, yeah, easy stuff. Bird Keeper Robert defeated, and uh, what we're going to do is register him in the Pokenab, I suppose, 
And then we will uh, head across the bridge here and see Mr. Steven. So let's see what he says. Hmm? It's too high. It's been a while. Not really. It's only been like a few episodes, I think. So not too long, I guess. There's something here you can't see, right? No. If I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle... No, no. Rather than describing it, I should just show you. That would be more fun. Stu, are your Pokemon ready for battle? Alright, so because he's going to use this, this is actually my encounter for the route. And the Pokemon is, in fact, Kecleon. So, yeah, Kecleon does count as my encounter because it is the first Pokemon I've seen here on Route 119. And I have not caught one before. Or not 119, this is 120. I haven't caught one before. So what I'm going to do is just cripple it with the Thunder Wave. And then we will hit it with, like, a spark or something. I won't go for Thunderbolt. It's on level 30, so it's at a decent level. And, uh, it would fit into the team, I guess, should I lose a Pokemon. But I hope I don't, obvious, for obvious reasons. So Spark, uh, did, uh, about a third. And this thing has the ability Color Change. So if you hit it with a certain type attack, it's going to do, uh, it's going to change to that type. So, right now, Kecleon is an Electric-type Pokemon, as opposed to being a Normal-type, like it usually is. And because of that, moves like Spark... Thunderbolt and stuff are not going to do that much damage because it is of the same type, which means it's not very effective. So if you wanted to take one of these things out, you could use like a Dragon type move and then uh, hit it with another Dragon type move because it'll be super effective. What with Dragon being super effective on Dragon and all the usual stuff. So there we go. Let's see if we can catch this Kecleon. And we have so sweet. There's our Pokemon on Route 120. It is a Kecleon. And yeah, Kecleon is the Pokemon that is blocking all the paths. Or whatever you see, like an unseeable Pokemon, it is uh, Kecleon. I don't think Chameleon will fit. Uh, I don't even think I spelled it right. So, is that... Yeah, I think that's how you spell it. Chameleon? Uh, I'll check if it's right or not, but I don't think it is. I know, I just have this bad feeling it's not right. Anyway, I see. Your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Duford. I'd like to have this Devon scope. Who knows, there may be other concealed Pokemon. So yeah, there's pretty much just only like more seal concealed Kecleons. And uh yeah, that's pretty much it. So Steven just leaves after giving me the Devon Scope. And actually, if we come up here, there is another Kecleon in hiding. And we can get that item down there. I'm gonna spray repel now because there's no point in me fighting fighting wall Pokemon. Seeing as I've already caught my uh, Kecleon for this route. So yeah. It's a female Mightyena. <sighs> Poor Hunter, you still you didn't stand a chance against that Z that Zangoose. I don't think anybody. I I remember I, I barely got out of there alive. That was whew, that hurt. What is this doing here? No, don't give. Why would I give it something a revive? That's like taunting it. No, throw it away. We don't use revives here because we can't. But uh, yeah, we don't use them anyway. So Devin scope this thing. And, uh, it's another Kecleon. You can't just run away from the Kecleons if you want. But, uh, the first one that you battle, if you're doing a Nuzlocke, unless you find a Pokemon in the grass beforehand and you don't want a Kecleon, then, uh, yeah. I just went for Kecleon because, uh, as you saw, there's Mighty Edits in this grass. There's a lot of Pokemon that I already have or have, uh, captured or evolved or whatever will appear. So, finding those guys, again, it just made sense for me to get the Kecleon because it's a fresh Pokemon. And there's no way it's going to be any other Pokemon. It always will be a Kecleon. Anyway. We'll use the Devon Scope here again. There is another uh, invisible Pokemon blocking the way. And this one just runs away. So yeah, you don't have to battle this Kecleon. And now we can enter the gym. And I think that is what we are going to be doing in the next episode. So, I would like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Emerald Wedlock. And I would... Uh, great, how do I finish this up again? Uh, like, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys for more shortly enough. Can't believe I forgot the outro I've been using since I pretty much started YouTube. Weird. Anyway, I will see you guys for more shortly enough. Catch you then.